Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2019 Panini Contenders Football 12 box pick your team number 7 from jazbeescasebreaks.com A very big thank you to all of these lovely people right here for getting into the action, for getting it done Really appreciate it Brandon Thomas getting that last spot mojo So thanks to him, good luck to him Good luck to everybody in this one of course Rooting for everyone here Also the, uh, Brandon Thomas in the chat just told me about the Scottish Hammer on the Cleveland Browns. He's got autographs in here. Big punter for the Browns. So I don't think we've pulled that guy yet, but we were just watching highlights of him before this video. He's pretty amazing. <laughs> A guy that you do not want to be tackled by if you just have the kicker to beat. So maybe we'll find some of him too. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 12. I'm going to put these boxes right on top of each other. Slide these over here. Give myself a little bit of space. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. Here we go. Now, Kaysen was saying before we started this break... Do we see that Thielen got hurt and Diggs was out for his second day of practice with an illness? That's not good. I think Thielen, they can certainly... Uh... Oh, they need Thielen. They need Diggs, too. I feel like illness I'm not too worried about, right? I feel like guys can play through that, but whatever that Thielen inj injury is, that's not good. Because they're facing a very tough Niners front. That defense could probably neutralize Dalvin Cook in a little bit, right? So they're gonna need they're gonna need a, definitely a balanced attack if they want a chance of beating beating the Niners. Do they have a chance of beating the Niners, everyone? Vikings at Niners. I mean, Cousins did step up in New Orleans, but now he's on the road for the second week in a row and facing an even tougher defense. Jesse McGowan saying Vikings win by 10. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. All right, good luck here. Yeah, Jesse, what 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 is your analysis on the game? Why do why do you think the Vikings are gonna win by ten? I'll tell you what, I've been I've been saying that I thought the Niners were overrated all season long, but they've proven me wrong all season long. Marquise Brown, nice on card autograph for the Ravens. Good start for Brian Hardy and the Purple Birds. Jesse thinks the ground game will be a big factor. Well, you don't think like Nick Chubb and, or Nick Chubb. You don't think uh, Joey, think Nick Bosa, mixing up all these things. You don't think Nick Bosa can neutralize that ground game? David Montgomery to 75. Is Jerry Tillery, and we will do an autograph recap at the end of this break as well. Jerry Tillery, Chargers, going to John Sodaro. All right, that's the fear, right? If Eastwood's saying if Thielen and Diggs are truly hurt and are limited, there's Ben Baganu for Brandon Thompson and the Colts, then they could, they could uh, stack the box. Even more. There's Ben Bangu, and I think there was another Colt coming up. 
And that is Rock Yasin. Rookie ticket autograph. It's another one for Brandon Thomas. All right, Jesse is saying, we don't need Thielen or Diggs because the Niners give up 100 yards per game on the ground. Our running backs will eat that up, he says. All right. It's pretty confident. And we got Cole Holcomb, our fifth autograph of the box. Five autographs of the box in this stuff. Basketball, I think, only has two. Nathaniel with the Redskins. I don't know, but what about the Niners' defense in general? I feel like I think they're pretty tough. Now, the East would say you still have Kirk Cousins, but, well, Jesse's saying it doesn't matter as much. He's saying it doesn't matter as much because... Uh, because... Dalvin Cook will do all the work. Hi, Michael. Are you, are you in the shot? Welcome. And he's not worried about Cousins. No worries, he says. All right. Wow. The... I mean, the, the, the Niners are favored by seven, according to Vegas. San Francisco is minus seven. But Jesse's saying Vikings will win by ten. So we're putting the house on the points, right? Jesse, is that what you're saying? Vikings plus seven. I'm putting the, the Jaspies store, the Jaspies uh, rent money on it. And so are the Saints. Yeah, Saints were heavily favored too. All right. So Jesse is saying this is this is the magical Vikings year. Set one of these aside. We'll do top bottom randomizers on that. And there's Melvin Ingram. Playoff ticket. I thought it was going to be an autograph. Out of 175. There is Caden Smith, speaking of the Niners. Playoff ticket autograph. 79 out of 99. That goes to Victor Z and San Francisco. TJ Leonard saying, I like the confidence, Jesse, but Cousins won't have time to blink, let alone throw the ball. Yeah, Coop, maybe the whole store. That's what Jesse's saying. Put the whole store on the Vikings. Jesse's saying he's gonna be Kirk Cousins is gonna be fine. The O line finally clicking. That is true. Jamel Dean. Buccaneers. I don't I actually I like Cousins a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it'll be fine. Jesse's saying Vikings will win in San Francisco and then lose the next game. There's Brett Rippon. Denver Broncos, 79 out of 99. I think uh, Mark Rippon's nephew, son, something like that. Broncos with that one. That'll go to Jared. Jared Morling and the Broncos. We got David Blow. Lions. Conan wants the Lions to fold operations. Chris Parent with the Lions. Well, where would David Blow go? It's a variation, too. You can tell by the helmet right there. And a redemption. 
Kaysen's asking how many points do you think the Niners score, Jess? Jesse says 17. Who's stopping Kittle? Kittle's overrated, Jesse counters. Miles Sanders, Eagles. Nice. That goes to Bruce. There you go, Bruce. Well, here's the thing, Jesse. This is why you're 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 uh, piquing my interest because <laughs> I've thought that the Niners were overrated all season long, but I've been burned all season long. But maybe they'll be exposed in the playoffs. I think the Vikings are better than most people think. I like Cousins more than most people, I think. So now, now you're feeding into that my, that Joe narrative that I have out, had all season long. Conan says, "You know they haven't. They have won one playoff game in 50 years. The Lions. It's not not working. You say Lions should just close up shop. That makes me nervous because man, I think the Raiders might be coming up on that too. So you're saying the Raiders should close up shop? I know T.J. Leonard." I mean, at some point, they are what their record is, right? That's what Bill Parcells said. But I don't know. I feel like here's here's my here's my feeling. I feel like the the I feel like the Niners are like the Rams last season, right? At some point, the Niners are going to get exposed, just like the Rams got exposed. And now look at the Rams this year. That's that's what I'm sort of concerned about. So that's why I can't fully support, at least financially, cannot fully support uh, Niners in their playoff efforts this year. All right. Oh, and we've got Daryl Henderson. One out of 27. Die cut. Looks like a ticket right there. Yeah, I'm pretty excited, Tonin, about the Las Vegas Raiders. I'm all right with that. The new stadium looks like the Death Star. Looks kind of cool. Daryl Henderson, Rams. That'll be for Serenity and the Rams. There you go, Serenity. Alexander Madison. These are one of the guys right here. Jesse thinks will will carry the Vikings to victory. Twenty out of ninety nine. Looking forward to going to a game in Vegas this year, you guys. I'm sure I'll share my experience with you once that time comes. Dax Raymond, Bears. That'll go to A.J. Anderson on the board. Hit up the Golden Knights, too. I've not seen a Golden Knights game. I haven't done a hockey game in ages. Dax Raymond. Yeah, I mean, that could, could be a could be a good sports weekend if they're uh, if the Knights are in town, too. Ben Banagoo, another one for uh, Brandon Thomas. BT with the Colts. And we've got Patrick Laird, Miami Dolphins. That's going to go to Armando with Miami. All right, so we'll do an autograph recap at the end, but there are your five right there. Steve Locke with the Vikings, by the way, got that Alexander Madison who I think is pretty good. 
I would even go so far as to say this might be crazy talk, Vikings fans, but if Dalvin Cook gets a little expensive, right after his rookie, whenever his rookie deal is over, and it comes to do we pay this guy or not? Could Alexander Madison be poor man Dalvin Cook? He kind of, maybe you let Dalvin Cook go. If the money doesn't work out, maybe you let Dalvin Cook walk. Alexander Madison use the money to on other parts of the team. You think Cook and Madison will both stay? Hey, if you can pay Cook, then if, if there's space in the cap. But I'm just saying if they want to divert resources elsewhere, I feel like I feel like Madison is a is a good poor man's Dalvin Cook. But if, if the if the finances I don't know what the I don't know, I have no idea what the Vikings cap situation is, but hey, if they can afford to to, to sign Cook, go for it. Absolutely. There's Tom. Where does where does this guy go? Who knows where that guy goes? You know, that guy's got to get paid, right? Mike McCarthy's there now. This guy, this guy got to get paid. Do they got Amari Cooper. Do they pay Amari Cooper too? What do the Cowboys do? Brady to the Bears. <laughs> Don't insane. Brady to the Bears. That I mean. Wouldn't be too bad, actually. I think Brady... I mean, the Bears are not that far away. You know, if they could get... If, if their offense can just stay on the field a little bit longer, not burn out that defense, that's a scary team. 73 out of 99, Ryan Fitzpatrick. So, yeah, I could... I mean, that could be very interesting. Brady to the Chargers... I mean, is it, is, is, uh, is Rivers out? Rookie ticket, Ugo Mati for the Seahawks, Justin Pattison. Got Dylan Mitchell, die cut autograph, 17 out of 17, eBay one of one, Steve Locke and the Vikings. Rock Yasin, rookie ticket autograph for the Colts, Brandon Thomas. TJ Leonard to Brady to the Dolphins just to show how good he is, really is without Belichick. I think they're keeping Fitzpatrick down there, aren't they? Draft a quarterback and then let him marinate behind Fitzpatrick for a season or two. Tim Boyle, Packers, Charles. Where does Andy Dalton go? I feel like Andy Dalton still has something to prove. I don't think I don't think they're keeping him in Cincinnati. And we got Jared Stidham. Maybe Jared Stidham. That's a variation autograph for the Patriots. Jared Stidham get a shot if Brady leaves. That will be for Adam Berger and the Pats. Could be. You think Dalton's done, Jess? I don't know. I mean, you look at you look at the Tannehill story this year. A lot of people, a lot of people thought Tannehill's done. But look at him this year. Looks like a looks like a new man on the Titans. Which is why it makes me think maybe Andy Dalton has has some something extra to give. You know, maybe maybe you take a 
like a show me contract for Andy Dalton. Go somewhere and see what you can prove. Dalton to back up Luck in the NF in the XFL. Luck's coming back to the NFL. I'm, I'm almost certain of that. I feel like he'll do XFL for a second. He'll look really good. And then once that NFL money starts coming in, he'll be like, sorry, Dad. I got to leave the XFL. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that NFL money. Peace. See you later. Next box. If I miss any numbered cards here, don't worry. Our, our shipping team will, will find them. I feel like I, I think I might have missed one or two. There's AJ Bouye to 99. I'm not going to miss that one. It was upside, flipped around. Who do we all have winning the Super Bowl? I mean, 31 out of 94, Charles Omenihu. Yeah, I mean, what's what's best for the hobby? Best for the hobby would be uh, Ravens and Lamar Jackson winning the Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes winning the Super Bowl. There's Joel with the Texans with that one. Packers. That'd be a surprise, but that could be interesting. Travis Fulham, forty-eight out of eighty-four. I would love to see Kansas City or uh, or the Ravens take care of business. Travis Fulham for the Lions, Chris Parent. I'm thinking it's going to be an AFC team, right? There's Greedy Williams. One of one. Super, speaking of the Super Bowl. One of one Super Bowl ticket autograph for the Browns. Brandon Thomas. Browns were a late pickup. One of the last few teams left. They were just sitting there. No one wanted him, Brandon. They were just sitting there. Brandon with the Browns all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! There's my boy Cleland Farrell. Cracked ice. What a box. 12 out of 23. Who's got my Raiders? Jim Morin with my Raiders. There you go, Jim. Big fan of the Cleveland Farrell. Or Farrell, I think. Kaysen's wondering, do the Titans have a shot at beating the Ravens? Uh, I mean... Yeah, I mean, every team has a shot. <laughs> I don't know if you're welcome, Brandon. He's like, holy cow, thanks. You know, if Tannehill played a little bit, you know, at least numbers wise, played a little bit better in New England, I would feel a little more confident about maybe the Titans with another upset. But but I mean, can Derrick Henry carry that team again? Redemption is Hunter Renfro, another Raider. Rookie ticket RPS. Another one for Jim Morin and the Silver and Black. Next year, by the time 2020 contenders rolls around, it'll be LV up there. You think the Titans will give the Ravens some problems? It's, it's an interesting matchup. I think that's a very interesting matchup. I think the Titans have enough big playability. Think about it. Tannehill to AJ Brown, you know, that that's that's big playability right there. Same as Lamar Jackson, right? Same as Lamar Jackson to anybody else. You know, both the Ravens and the Titans can run the ball. 
So there could be – it might be lower scoring than you think, but they can both control the game with their running game. So there's that. I think the Ravens have a better defense. I don't know if the Titans defense is as strong, but they're not bad either. I think that's going to be an excellent game. We'll be here together on Saturday watching the late game. I wonder if that makes you think, for those of you who are interested in this sort of thing, for entertainment purposes only, uh, Titans plus 10? Maybe Baltimore to win outright, but Titans plus 10? The game might be closer than, than one may think. Tannehill's got to play a little bit better. Yeah, a KC Baltimore AFC Conference matchup. That would be pretty amazing. I mean, we got a lot of good games here. I mean, I, I, I can make a. I mean, Vikings Niners, I think, is going to be fun. Titans at Ravens is going to be fun. Texans at Chiefs. Deshaun Watson versus Patrick Mahomes. That should be fun. Russell Wilson versus Aaron Rodgers in the Sunday late game on Sunday. I think that's exciting, too. You don't trust Lamar with his arm? I, I mean, what, what, what more does he have to do this season to gain your trust, Kaysen? Speaking of the Chiefs, there is Kalen Saunders for Jason Brown in Kansas City. Rebel saying that KC needs Kelsey, though, for the next game. Yeah, they definitely could use him. Raquel Armstead, Jaguars autograph, going to Justin with the Jags. Another Patrick Laird for Armando and the Dolphins. Rookie ticket autograph. Ryan Burns, rookie ticket autograph for the Panthers. Rick Thomas with Carolina. Irv Smith Jr. is Jr. right there. It's his autograph. That goes to uh, Steve Locke, I think. Yeah, Steve with the Vikings. Oh, there's five right there. One, two, three, four, five. I was like, I was looking for the fifth autograph. All right, we are halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got another three right here and another three right there, and then we're done. Another about half hour to go. And we'll get into some flawless after this. And then I don't know what we're going to do after that. Let me figure it out. A lot of stuff on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Browse around.
think the uh, Panthers, are they going to keep Cam Newton? I feel like there's a lot of teams with like quarterback question marks, right? I think they're going to keep him for another year. Let's see. Patriots have quarterback questions. What do they do with Brady? My my feeling is that they'll probably end up keeping Brady for another season or two, right? For three, maybe I think they'll get that deal done. Um, Josh Allen did not look good in that second half overtime of that game, that that playoff game against the Texans. But I think that's a good experience for Josh Allen. I think that I think the Bills are a lot. The Bills might win the division next year. I think the Bills are a lot better. Let me a little more marinating, a little more seasoning for Josh Allen. Add some more pieces to that team. I could see. A wide receiver. I could see the Bills being pretty good. Jets have Sam Darnold. Dolphins will keep Fitzpatrick. They'll add a we'll probably draft a quarterback though. Yeah, TJ Leonard thinking two year deal for Brady in New England. Can't see like the Kraft family letting him go, right? I mean someone I heard on it was ESPN or on the radio somewhere, maybe a podcast or something like that, where they were like where this person was like Think about what Brady did, did for that franchise. I mean, and Belichick and the others, obviously, but Tom Brady took a, took a team that was valued at whatever it, the Patriots valued at in the 2000s. Nice Michael Harbin Jr., the speedster, 3 out of 10. Nice rookie roundup autograph for Jason Brown and the Chiefs. I mean, he, he turned that... Turned the Patriots into one of the most valuable franchises in the NFL. One of the most valuable franchises, sports franchises in the world. Short of like some random soccer team, I guess. Real Madrid or something like that. Mike Evans to 99. Uh, points. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Winner take all the points if there's any more. Bruce Anderson die cut autograph. Three out of 30. That will be for Alex Hearn and the Buccaneers. Got Jay Sternberger. Autograph for Charles and the Packers. Be one more. There it is. Devin White, Buccaneers. Another Buccaneers autograph for Alex. Nice. And then the points that acts as the fifth autograph takes the place of an auto. Next box. Texas and the points. Was it ten or something like that? Yeah, I think the consensus is Texans plus 10. Nine and a half, 10. I mean, I like it. You know, Deshaun Watson could... could I don't think the Texans are going to win this game. But I could see Deshaun Watson... Doing something wacky in the fourth quarter and backdoor cover it. You know, I'm not too sure about that Kansas City, that Kansas City defense. That total is at 51 points. That's easily the highest total of the weekend.
That defense, Kansas City defense is not nearly as tough as that Bills defense. And that towards the end of the game, even the, the, the Texans were able to, to move the ball in the second half. So they made the adjustments. But Rebels saying what? The Kansas City defense been still killing it? Got their stuff together? Against who though? I don't think the I don't think the Chiefs are really facing stiff competition in the last few weeks. Right? I mean when you're playing Denver, Chicago, and the Chargers and my Raiders after the bye week, I mean Anyone's defense can look pretty stiff against the uh, Chicago Bears and Denver Broncos. There's Marcus Green. Eagles. That's going to be for Bruce. Jordan Scarlett, Panthers. That'll be for Rick Thomas. Byron Murphy, rookie ticket autograph for the Cardinals. That's for Jim Morin. <laughs> yeah, Sean would go so far as to say, Kansas City D hasn't killed it once all season. Now that defense is still is still a big question mark for Kansas City. I thought they would improve that more significantly last year, but or over the off season after last year's playoffs, but I don't think it really has. It has, but it also hasn't. Andy Reid off a bye though. You can't go against Andy Reid off a bye. Speaking of the Kansas City Chiefs, there's Juan Thornhill that goes to Jason Brown. So that's why I think I think the the Chiefs are gonna are gonna get that W and move on in the playoffs, but they're laying ten nine and a half to ten according to Vegas if you're into that sort of thing and that's it's a lot. All right, T J Leonard guessing D K Metcalf. It's gonna be Paris Campbell. That goes to Brandon Thomas and the Colts. One of the guys he was specifically looking for when he picked up the Colts. Nice break for you, Brandon. All right. Next box. And as I've been doing this break, I think I definitely need definitely need to snack on a little bit of food after this break. So I'm gonna take a quick 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes after this break, and then we'll dive into flawless. And then I only see a couple orders. I only see two orders right now. I see one from David Larson, who I think is the the, the gentleman that filled the flawless, and then one from Eastwood, and that's it. So time to start getting your orders in, ladies and gentlemen, to build the momentum for whatever the next break may be after this and then flawless. All right. Sam needs some Steelers. We've got plenty of time left. 5, 10, 15, 20 autographs to go, Sam. I wouldn't worry just yet. Maybe at the last box I'd start worrying. Yeah, and Brandon, all Brandon needs now is the Scottish Hammer on the Browns. And then and then he's he's good on this break. Mission accomplished. Achievement unlocked. All right, next box.
We got Josh Allen to 175. And we got Tanner Hudson, rookie ticket autograph for the Buccaneers. That will be going to Alex Hearn and the Bucks. We got for my Raiders, Trayvon Mullen Jr. My Raiders, I think, starting to get on the right track. I feel like at points in the season, I feel like they're a little ahead of schedule this season. Still need a lot of work to do. Got to add add a lot more pieces, a lot more depth is going to be necessary, but the Raiders are going to be, going to be competitive. Mahomes is a problem <laughs> but in this division, but maybe they can sneak in the playoffs a couple times. Ola B.C. Johnson, Vikings. Points. Sorry, it's sneak keeps sneaking up on me. The points. Justice Hill. Justice is served. Twelve out of forty-nine. More justice being served to Brian Hardy. I guess the first bit of justice being served is our first Justice Hill. You had Marquise Brown earlier. More Ravens being served to you. Oh, the point. I was like, where's the fifth autograph? Those are the points. All right, three more boxes to go. Fifteen more autographs to go. All right. Three boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Now, for my for my plays this weekend, I'm really I don't know. Now, over the next couple days, I think I'll have a better idea of where I'm gonna, which direction I'm gonna go for entertainment purposes only. We are talking quarterbacks a couple boxes ago. Patriots have quarterback questions. Dolphins, I don't think we'll have a quarterback question. They're going to go with Fitzpatrick, but then they're going to have to I'm gonna draft a quarterback. That'll be interesting. Steelers, quarterback questions, or is Ben Rosberger coming back? Browns, Oops, need a new coach first. Bengals, quarterback questions. They're probably going to draft Joe Burrow, number one overall, though. Texans are fine. Titans are fine. Colts, are there quarterback questions there, or are they going to keep going with Brissett? Gardner Minshew, Jaguars, is that the answer? Denver Broncos, Drew Locke might be the answer there. Raiders, Derek Carr, I don't think they're going to make a move at QB just yet. I think Derek Carr gets another season or so. Chargers, could be some quarterback questions there, depending on what, what happens with Rivers. Eagles have Wentz. Cowboys, they got to sign uh, they got to sign Dak Prescott, and they got to pay him now. Giants are fine. Redskins are fine. Packers are fine. Vikings are fine. Bears, big quarterback questions there. What about the Lions? Matt Stafford. Weird back injury. Those can linger. Those that could be maybe they're looking for a quarterback. Are the Saints looking for a quarterback? Drew Brees isn't getting any younger. I think Lions will take Tua. Well, he'll just sit behind, sit behind Stafford and marinate for a season or two. I think Falcons are. What are what are the what are the uh, Buccaneers going to do? Keep Jameis Winston. There's Melvin Ingram, the third to 175.
Panthers? Do they keep... Do they hold on to Cam Newton? It's a possibility. Niners got Garoppolo. Seahawks are fine. I mean, Rams, they're st I think they're stuck with Jared Goff. Cardinals have Kyler Murray. They're, they're fine. There are a lot of QB questions out there. It's Trayvon Wesco for the Jets. That'll be for Jim Morin and the Jets. Rodney Anderson, Bengals, last spot mojo. That's going to go to Brandon Thomas, who picked up the Bengals last. Vanilla Gorilla saying they're talking up to a big back home in Motor City. It's Quadri Allison, Falcons. That goes to Jason Brown, 64 out of 99. Tim Boyle, Green Bay Packers, Char uh, Charles. Yes, Charles with the Packers. There you go, Charles. Is that my boy Josh Jacobs right there? Is that an autograph back there? I'm gonna find out in just a second here. It is Josh Jacobs on card autograph and variation. You can tell by the helmet right there. That goes to uh, Jim Morn and my Raiders. There you go, Jim. Joe, what do I think about Jake Fromm coming out? I like that he has declared himself eligible for the draft because I want him to be signed by State Farm. I mean, he's got to get that State Farm money, right? I don't care what team he ends up on. I don't care if he's successful. I do care if he's successful, especially if he's a first-rounder. But uh, let's, get Jake, let's get Jake Fromm that State Farm money. Jake from State Farm. All right. Next box. Even his Twitter account says Jake from State Farm. He, he's, he's chasing that State Farm money, Vanilla Gorilla. He wants it. What have, the, what have the mock drafts been saying? Walter Football has, a, has some good mock mock drafting. They're an alternative to the big to the big boys. Uh, well, they they've got they've got the Bengals at one taking Joe Burrow. Where's the next quarterback? they Walter Football is thinking Tua to the Dolphins at five. They have the Lions taking a cornerback. They've got they're projecting Justin Herbert from Oregon going to the Chargers number six. Oh, I, I like I like quarterbacks in the first round. It's good for the hobby. Scrolling down the list here. Jake Fromm, Patriots. And the 23rd spot. Well, Sean, what, 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 are the, what are the Chargers going to do? The Chargers have to take a quarterback, whether they keep Rivers or not. Why not take Justin Herbert? Why not take a quarterback? Hi, Nick Anderson. No, not tonight, I'm afraid. I think we can do all these breaks straight up. I mean, you can. F what line are they going to play behind? I mean, you can find value in later rounds with the offensive line, no? Or even in free agency? Logan shocked that he's off before 8.30. Trayvon Mullen Jr., 85 out of 99 for Jim and my Raiders. Of 
that's what we've always tried. It hasn't worked out at all. So you think the Chargers are going to be like, you know what, let's mix it up. Zach Allen, variation autograph for Jim Morin and the Cardinals, back-to-back. Is there a new GM there? There's John Orsua, Seahawks. Goes to Justin and the Seahawks. Delvin Duck Hodges. Although apparently he prefers to be called Delvin. That goes to, um, who's got the Steelers? And Sam Rail. There you go, Sam. There's your Steeler. And there's Hakeem Butler. On-card autograph for the Cardinals. Another one for Jim. Let's see if we can find that pass catcher. Pass thrower. The guy who throws Hakeem Butler the ball. Oh, Aaron, you must not have heard. You must not have heard what we're doing on the main floor. We've got personal boxes on jazbees.com, broadcasting, breaking live on our Instagram channel, live from our shop in Hermosa Beach at the card bar. So you can sally up to the card bar and say, I'd like a, I'd like a box of your finest. We've got top shelf stuff. Middle shelf stuff, well boxes. Wrecking, hello. Last box, good luck everybody. Well, Aaron. Time, time to time to get the Instagram. It's 2020. Everyone should have an Instagram. Oh, I can also tell that Logan does not read our email blasts. You go to jaspies.com and you watch on Instagram at Jaspies Breaks. Five autographs coming up. We'll do a couple randomizers for that stuff in the back. Do a quick autograph recap. Put this break away. I'm going to take a quick little dinner break, scarf down some food, and then we'll get back to some flawless and whatever other breaks we've got going for today. I think AJ was saying the best of football has inched down to 14 spots left. That should be a lot of fun. We can get that going. Sam Darnold to 175. We've got Jordan Brailford. Redskins autograph. 30 out of 49 for Nathaniel. Got Miles Gaskin, Dolphins, 
That's going to go to Armando and Dolphins. Fins up. Travion Williams, Bengals. Brandon Thomas, last spot mojo. That'll be added to the points pile. And there's another Alexander Madison. On card autograph for the Vikings, Steve Locke. Second one for you, nice. All right, and there you have it, boys and girls. Pretty solid break, full case of contenders. Thanks everyone for getting in. Let's get random.org fired up here. So everyone has a shot at the points. And then we'll go top bottom on that randomizer. Let's roll it and randomize it a full 12 times. Six and a six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And 12th and final time after 12 times. Name on top after 12 is going to be Jeremy Plemons. Jeremy, I don't think I called your name all break. So you do have a consolation prize. All the points back there. Two 250s and a 400 for you. All right, top bottom, 12 times. One, two, two, two. There's two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. After twelve times, the bottom teams will get these uh, round number of cards right here. And there you go. Let's do a quick autograph recap. This was what our break looked like. Solid stuff. Alexander Madison. Got some numbered cards. Duck Hodges. Numbered cards. Josh Jacobs. Raiders had a few nice cards here. Ola B.C. Johnson. The Paris Campbell Redemption. We got a nice Meikle Hardman Jr. Rookie Roundup autograph. Irv Smith Jr. Hunter Renfro, Clean Pharrell, Cracked Ice, One of One, Greedy Williams. That's pretty cool. Jared Stidham, Rock Yasin. Alexander Madison again, Daryl Henderson, Miles Sanders Redemption, David Blow, Brett Rippon, Caden Smith, Rock Yasin, Jerry Tillery. And we started off the break with Marquise Brown for the Purple Birds. Pretty solid break. That was Pick Your Team 7. There should be some more in the store, so keep an eye out on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.